Hello, welcome back to Goldborn. Last time, the goblins left a whole bunch of garbage sitting around on our front lawn. Um, and they also, somebody decided it was a good idea to start butchering goblins. Uh, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> um, this time, we have to clean all that mess up. Um, because of course we do. And our, and our dwarves are still more interested in cleaning up all the jobs that I started when I told them to gather food. So, that's wonderful. Um, meanwhile, all of our dwarves are like super horrified by all the stuff they're seeing. Um, because a lot of them apparently have never seen corpses yet, or it's been a while, and so they end up fucking horrified by the, the image of dead bodies everywhere. So yeah, that's a thing. Hopefully they'll stop being horrified at some point. Because uh, I kind of need them to clean up. Clean up the mess. Uh, that's all the stuff. This is what I don't want. You know what I never wanted? I never want to eat goblin. I imagine goblin doesn't taste very good. I mean, considering they're considered filthy guts, um, I kind of feel like that's not something you want to eat. You know, just clean that up. Just, just, uh, just get to clean it. Just eventually, maybe, hopefully. Or just let the children sit outside and play around the cage traps, that's fun. You know. <laughs> you know. For funsies. Alright, whatever. Um... <laughs> too many jobs. Too many jobs and too much crap to do, that's the problem. That's the problem. That's the infinite problem. Um, hopefully they'll eventually finish picking up all the food that I left them to pick up. <sighs> Alright, um... Oh yeah, I did leave them to do this, didn't I? Yeah, I totally forgot about this. You still doing things? Okay, you're almost done doing things. That's fine. Um... Oh god, I forgot about all this. Forgot about all of this. Guess we're gonna be pulling that lever pretty soon. What are you doing? No job. Okay. Let me just clean up all that mess. That'll be fun. Uh, I think they're almost done. I think. I hope. I hope they're almost done. They're not, but one can hope. See, I remember in earlier versions when you could, like, butcher sentient creatures and turn them into, uh, like, meat. <laughs> I remember that, like, in, like, adventure mode. I wish they would bring that back, but only because it would be really weird. Like, it'd be kind of a funny thing to do in, uh, if you were playing, like, an evil dwarf fortress. I feel like that'd be kind of a fun, amusing thing. Uh, but it's all going to the... All going into the pit. Real quick. I have more stuff to engrave? I do. Oh boy. Time to uh, memorialize all of the goblins <laughs> that died here. Not memorialized. Oh. Of course they're not in order. You in tune, but not in Norella and or whatever. This is a good thing I built all those uh cancel drink horrified. Wait, child cancels drink? Oh good. I'm guessing that's you. Overwhelmed by horror. Uh horrified after seeing the goblin die dead body. Horrified after seeing the troll's dead body. Horrified after seeing a goblin's dead body. Horrified after seeing uh Annoyed after drinking without a goblet. Why would you drink out without a goblet? What's stopping you? I'm curious. Do I need to forge more goblets again? Probably. 
That'll probably be the next thing after we finish with all this. Yes, overwhelmed by horror. The endless horror of having to look through all this crap. Ay. Okay, we can dump that. Um, it's too large anyway, so we can't wear it, so whatever. Uh, dump the armor. Dump the low boots that we don't need. Dump the armor. Let's see if we can speed this up. Dump that, dump that. Is that a high boot? That no, is. Uh, oh, no, we can dump the elf amulet. <laughs> don't keep the elf amulet. Uh, don't need the leather high boots. Whatever. Right, yeah, dump that. Yeah, to continue to dump that, that's fine. Um, that also means that they're hauling all that stuff down here, aren't they? Oh god. I'm gonna set the metal works into overdrive. I'm gonna set these all up to melt things forever. Oh god. Whoops. Whoops. Alright, um... Is this dumpable? That's set to be dumped, that's fine. Are you still making cloth? Why are you making cloth? I, mean, I don't really mind that you're making cloth. <laughs> Too depressed. Why are you depressed? Why are you depressed? Sunk into depression. Why are you depressed? Stress is... Uneasy after seeing a goblin dead body, uneasy after seeing a goblin dead body, uneasy after seeing a goblin dead body, uneasy after seeing a goblin dead body. Uh. Oh. Haggard and drawn to the tremendous stress place on her from seeing all of the dead bodies. So apparently, seeing dead bodies just endlessly causes your dwarves to collapse into depression. You'd think by now they were kind of, they'd be, uh, used to this shit. Alright, so this time we're going to test out our spikes. And we know that these aren't really the best spikes, so that's okay. We know these aren't the best spikes, and that's fine. Because they're all garbage anyway. That's okay. Right. Okay, then... To hook this up to the cage. All right, so we'll do that. Okay. Um, what else? What else do we need to do? You know that other military we sent out still hasn't come back yet. <laughs> we sent out a military like three episodes ago to go raiding, and they still haven't returned. So, I can only assume that. They're gonna come back and wonder what the fuck happened. Alright, um... Okay, um... It's even over here. Oh. More stuff to melt, that's fun. Get rid of the armor, we don't really need that. Why is there a child playing outside? Why do we have 40 children? That's what I want. Why do you have so many children? Right, they're gonna keep making glass spikes, I guess. Maybe we can dump them all later if we don't need them. Um, is that fat? Yes, it is. Oh, good, more goblin fat. We don't need that. It's just we want to make goblin soap. That's a little too dark, even for me. A little too dark. Um. All right. Oh yeah, we also need. To Let's need new uh, war dogs for here, don't we? Alright. Congratulations, new war dogs. You're now the new, uh. You're the new, uh, sacrifices. Convince the can convince all the goblins to charge headlong into certain death. All right, so they're gonna keep doing that. That's fine. They're gonna keep melting things. That's also fine. Um, eventually, they'll finish doing that. That's great. 
Oh good, migrants. Alright, one... What the fuck is this? Giant cave toad. Okay, we're just gonna butcher that. I don't know why you brought that with you, but... <laughs> that's just gonna get butchered. We're not keeping that. What is this? Stray buzzard hatchling. Why are you bringing me useless garbage? Stop that. Two. Three. Four. I guess welcome. <laughs> yes, welcome to my welcome to my place. Uh, it's filled with dead bodies. Mostly. Uh, I guess we'll sketch y'all situated into the. Uh... Yes, how many dwarven children do we have? The answer is too many. It's like a good third of our fort is nothing but children. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Where the fuck are all of our open door, open ro open rooms? There they are. It's like, damn. I should have made enough of these. Congratulations, welcome welcome to the fort, I suppose. Among all of the other crap we have lying around. Um I just realized we didn't build all those slabs we were supposed to build. Yes, yeah, so memorial to all the goblins that died here. Should probably just put these outside as like a uh abandon all hope ye who enter here. And of course, there are children playing in the <laughs> in the slab of pit. Oh boy! All right. Um, you're still melting things. That's good. Most of you guys are pretty crap at your jobs, but that's fine. You don't have to be good. I accept you for who you are. Even if you're completely garbage. Um, do we have anyone else we need to engrave? Uh, what? Where did all these people come from? Where'd all those people come from? Why are there now even more people? Oh wait, they're back. Uh oh. Oh, you brought me back a bunch of a bunch of animals. Um Mission report. Did all of you die horribly? Is that what happened? Uh Dwarf outmatched the human. Uh Clash with a single human, slaying them. Human attacked the dwarf. Human was struck down. Clash with seven humans slaying them. Okay, so. He went all that way, did all that stuff, and yet. Went all that way. And yet. Yeah, all he did was bring you back a bunch of, <laughs> a bunch of fucking animal. He brought me back a bunch of useless animals. Uh, actually, what, how many animals did you even bring me back? An alpaca, a guinea hen, a cat, a blue peacock, a turkey hen, two beak dogs. Oh, good. Just what we didn't want. Um, I guess we keep the alpacas. Guess we, guess we, guess we can keep those. Um, of course, they haven't really entered the map yet, so we have to wait a second. <laughs> All right. Hey, is that done? Okay, it's done. That's that's good. Alright, so now we can forbid this. 
not pet passable. And uh, pull the lever. Oh yeah, before we do that, slabs, right? All right. Let's see how well these these glass things work. Well, he went splat. So what happened? Oh, we already had two pages. So blocks the spinning, menacing green glass spike with the iron shield. Uh, Everyone fracturing the bone through the robe. Uh, lots of stabbing. Um, fracturing the bone. Shattering the bone. Uh, jumps away from the spinning uh, spike. The right lower leg, chipping the bone through the knee, and the part splits into gore. That's good. Uh, uh, okay, so it looks like... Oh, it's dead. Okay, goblin's dead. I think he just bled to death. <laughs> I think he just bled to death, is what happened. Um, Alright, so good news. Because we don't need to actually dump all this, we keep most of it. Okay, so... Good test run. Good test run, guys. Um, so, uh, turns out the spikes are pretty good. Uh, at least with that goblin, we'll have to test it with a little more. Um, I have to use like I'm going to use masterwork ones next, and we'll see if see if that makes a difference or not. Um, that'll be next time. So we, that's going to take a while. It's not something we can do so easily. Um, are they just not hauling the spikes? Are they just sitting in... No, they're not sitting in the glass furnace, so I'm not sure where they went. Oh, God. Um, butcher the beak dog, turkey hen, that. Butcher the cat, guinea hen. It did bring a bunch of useless crap, um, so it's only nice. It's only only fitting that we make food out of it. So okay, all that can stay. Um, okay. Uh, she gets me to melt the copper bowl too. I don't need those. Pretty sure that we may need to haul more, so getting rid of some extra ones is not a bad idea. Let's not melt the masterwork ones. Last thing we need is them all being all sad because we melted more masterworks. They're already traumatized enough by the fact that they had to see all the corpses of dead goblins. I can't handle it, man. Can't handle all the dead goblins. Speaking of dead goblins, I think we're gonna haul this guy. I'm gonna haul this guy's corpse out to the dumping yard. That'd be nice. Um. No, oh, yeah. Wait, no. Don't dump the skin. We need the skin. Yeah, it's nervous tissue we don't need. Got a whole bunch of crap we need to get rid of. Uh Yeah, whatever. Um Okay. Uh da, 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 da. things we're doing. Okay. Um Well there was another thing I was supposed to be doing. 
There's another thing I was supposed to take care of. Uh, keep the dog. Keep the skin. Um, there's something else. There's something else. I don't remember what it was. I'm terrible at remembering. God, I hate, I hate the fact that I always forget. I get, I get engrossed in what I'm doing, and then I completely forget what it was I was going to be doing before that. You get distracted too easily. Uh, grave shell. Alright, no, not... Hi, right, everyone. Why do I keep finding more people to be memorialized? Alright, apparently just the one guy I killed, so that's fine. Um... But yeah, I need to tell them all to dump all of these green glass spikes. Well, there's an easier way to do that. But we're also not done making them, so... Hey, at least we got one masterwork, so I guess maybe we'll get some masterwork glassmakers? Oh well. Oh well. Um... Needs melt... Oh, these are all leather. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Let's just... I thought this was all, like, copper. No, this is all leather. We don't need leather armor. Leather armor is awful. We don't want that. Didn't help their previous owners at all, so I'm not sure why we would trust it. <laughs> Key thing, if you find a piece of armor that was used and it killed somebody, or somebody died in it, chances are it's not going to keep you safe. Chances are it didn't keep him safe. Ain't going to keep you safe. The one downside to making all this glass is that I can't melt it. That's okay, because we can just get rid of it. I suppose I could trade it, but... Just, you know, dump it all. Um, actually, I want to see how much this is worth. So the max of the master workers are worth 1500 That's actually not a bad thing if you're trying to trade stuff. It's about a, worth about as much as copper is. Um, there's that. Alright, but I'm going to cut this episode and the next time we'll uh, we'll get, keep getting back. I guess I could set... No, I don't really have room for that. We have two kilns. We don't really need kilns. Two kilns, but... Uh, eh. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. Um... Maybe we can we can go back to making food again. So I guess we'll tell them to do that. Aren't likely to get attacked again anytime soon, so there's that. Really nervous tissue. Should probably do something with the bones, actually, now that I think on it. Uh, before we get before I forget. So make totems, I guess, and then I don't know, make make bone rings, because we haven't made enough of those. <laughs> make bone rings forever. Um, let's make ivory and tooth rings, make horn rings. Eh, whatever. That's next time. See ya. See y'all later, buddy.